Hello, this is Miss Nicole again, and I'd like to welcome all the students and their families to Message Board. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful start to the week today. And today we're going to start out by welcoming our friends. And let's see, um, there's Miss Nicole and Miss Christiana. And then we have our girls. We have Brooklyn Butterfly. We have Cecilia Cupcake. We have Faith Flower. We have um, Scenaria Snowman, Zoe Zebra, and Nazareth Nest. And we're going to talk about um, different things today. And I look forward to um, having this time with Okay, you. now we're Thank at you. the part of the morning message where we're going to discuss the days of the week. We have seven days of the week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have four school days. And there's one, two, three, four school days, and then three days where there's no school and you just stay home. One, two, three. So that makes seven in all. Now let's say the days of the week down here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, 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 days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week, 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 days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Okay. okay, now we're going to talk about the type of weather that um, we're experiencing. Um, we can, we're going to talk about all the different types. There's windy, there's cloudy, sunny, cold, rainy, hot, foggy, and snowy. We just got done with summer. Summer is where it's really sunny out. But right now it's fall, and sometimes it's warm, and sometimes it's cold, but it's going to be getting colder as winter gets closer. And even this week, our temperatures are going down. We're going to have 62 today, then 63 tomorrow, 60 for Wednesday, and then 60 Thursday and 55 Friday. So little by little, it's getting colder, and by the end of the October, it should be nice and cold outside. And then maybe even in November, we'll start to get snow, which I know some of you like to play out in the snow and make snow angels and go sliding and build snowmen. Okay, now we come to the part of message board where we're practicing counting. And I've cut out lots of different animal pictures for you to see and for us to count. We're going to go over what the pictures are so you guys can see them. We have a horse. We have frogs, we have a panda bear, we have ducks, we have a baby lion, we have a bunny rabbit, a polar bear, penguin, foxes, and birds. Okay, let's go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And remember, I want you counting with your mom, dad, or your grandma and grandpa at home while you're watching this. No? Let's count the numbers. Now we're going to go ahead and point to the numbers and count them, and I would like you to count them out loud yourself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we're going to be doing our two questions of the day. 
and I'm going to say the questions out loud and then you can answer them at home. One of our questions is how many people live in your house? You can have, um, have someone else, have an adult write down the names as you name off each person that lives in your house. And then you can go down the list and you can count how many people live in your house. At one time, for a very, very long time, we had five people living in my house. My husband, myself, and our three boys, Grover, Rob, and Nicholas. So that counted to five people. And now our, our boys are all growing and living on their own, so it's just my husband and myself. Well, and our dog, Griffin. So, how many people live in your house? Our next question is, how do you get to the park? Would you fly in an airplane to get to the park? Would you ride in a big delivery truck to get, in the, get to the park? Would you ride in a car to get to the park? Or would you ride a bike to get to the park? Let me think. I don't think we'd need to take an airplane to the park. And I don't think we need a big delivery truck either. But your parents or grandma and grandpa could drive, a, drive you in a car to the park. Or if you live close enough to the park, you could actually ride your bike to the park. But there are many different ways you can get to the park. Okay, today we're going to discuss the first, the first five letters of the alphabet. There's A, B, C, D, E. And actually, some of our friends' names begin with these letters. Um, Brooklyn begins with B. Brooklyn B. And Cecilia begins with C. C for Cecilia. Now, I'd like to discuss some words that begin with these letters. We have, for A, we have apple, ant, alligator, animal, avocado, and ant. Oh, art. Sorry. I said ant twice. Apologize. B, we have baby, Balloon, butterfly, book, bird, and boy. C we have castle. C we have castle, candle, candy, car, cat, cow, and crayons. D we have duck, dinosaur, dance, doll, dress, and drink. And our last letter for the day, E, we have elephant, egg, easel, exercise, earth, and education. And that completes our message board for today. Thank you so much for participating and have a wonderful Monday.